Good morning, everyone. Yeah, Sharon Harris is testing the alarms this week, frequently putting them off. Can you hear it in the background? I've heard louder, so I don't know. But anyway, anywhere, any time this week was valid for testing. Tuxie, good morning. Come on, buddy. It's breakfast time. There you go. Come on. Let's go, bud. Yay. That's my buddy. That's my buddy. Let's go. I had seen him through the front door. I'm like, you're not gray or panther. <laughs> Let's go to your spot. It's all good, bud. Johnny's uh, staying home from school one more day, which I guess is for the best. Um, they're having the convocation for three hours outside today. And his afternoon engineering class was canceled and his morning AP stats was study hall, which he needs to study AP stats because they've got a quiz tomorrow. But um, it surely wasn't worth him being up there all day today you know um for for those activities versus you know sitting in class missing lecture stuff like that so we're home for one more day but we're pretty darn sure we're where he's going up there tomorrow and he was starting to feel better yesterday for sure not a hundred percent still a lot of you know coughing up a bunch of stuff but um much better improved enough that i wasn't scared worried anymore because, um, what was it, Wednesday night? No, Tuesday night. Tuesday night, uh, the setback that he had and feeling better, I was really worried. So, um, he's definitely doing better now. Dang, they still got that siren going off in the background. It's been on and off like ten times now. Um, obviously, I have a touch of what Johnny had, and um, I'm in denial. No, I took a COVID test last night and I'm negative too, so I would say no fever, so this is some sort of a cold bug, and um, I'm not feeling dizzy or weak or any of those things, so obviously that means we're going for our walk anyway, because I would be a stubborn girl. Most people, they just take the day off and sit on the couch, but... It's shopping day amongst other things and I'm not sitting. <laughs> I don't got time to sit. So Don has on his identical but new shoes today. You doing okay with them? Yeah. Um, the laces are uh, got to get a little, they're a little stiffer everything. Uh, Everything's a little stiffer. Yeah, but um, yeah, it's because uh, the other foam had all been broken or whatever right you feel like you're walking more on a cloud today <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh. so i think we're gonna try to walk up the south park and back twice and see how far that is and not go up on the trail today but i'm to reserve the right to change my mind about that when we get to south park too but there was a good number of people we drove past the track and there's a good number of people on the track right now well, they all ought to be out today. It's really nice out. Weather bug says 67. Jules said 72, which seemed a tad high. And at any point, the dew rate, the dew points down. So it's not very humid out here. It feels, it feels good. It feels like you want to be out here going for your morning walk today instead of dreading it. Well, so far I've been maintaining my normal pace and just about to leave Dawn in my dust. Yeah. So. New shoes are not over there. I just sound a little bit more like I'm from New Jersey today. We'll go for the, you know, Stevie Nicks raspy voice sound. I always wanted to sing all of her songs. He asked me about Fleetwood Mac and the question is Christine McVie or Stevie. Oh, I'll go Stevie every time for me. So we made it up to South Park. I spun all of the polka stops and gyms up here and now we're going back down the trail. There's still quite a few people on the track and while I'm gonna wear an N95 at Guardian Angel today, 
I'm obviously not doing that while I'm out here raising my heart rate, gasping for air, you know, <laughs> exercising. So we didn't pass anybody on the trail the whole way up there. And there are some older people on the track and we'll just stay over here on this part of the trail today. Well, we're just entering back at the trailhead and I have one mile on my watch. So might be a little bit more up there and back than I thought. So I have one mile right now. So that implies by the time we get to the street, it'll be close to two. Wow. Really? Can that be? Yeah, well, it's only, I don't know. Well, we did walk a little past there up into the parking lot. Yeah, we effectively walked all the way to the Well, if we come track. back, maybe we'll come back to the neighborhood and take that little path up there and make that circle the second time. We'll see. So to here is 37 minutes and 1.57 miles. So we'd be about a mile off, which is right, because we didn't walk the track, and that's about a mile if we just went up to the car. So we're going to walk just a little bit more. I think going back to the spot to, for the neighborhood and up through is still a little longer than our normal walk. What do you think? Yeah, well, we'll see when we get there. Okay. Right, well, by the time we get there, though, back this way or back the other way, I'm not sure it's a lot different might be just a little different a little shorter going through the neighborhood we did that that morning it hailed <laughs> it'd be okay with me if we're never out on the trail again when we have hail once was enough for me all right we're cutting back through the neighborhood um swinging up by the retention pond although don says he wants to stick on the sidewalk through the old part of the neighborhood which is straight ahead as opposed to going out this way and straight over he wants to see how that feels that day in the hail we went out through the new part it puts us in the wrong part of the parking lot yeah so that's the street we came out on and now we still get to walk up the hill right. the very end just so we're not thinking we're lazy or anything that's here right. at the end we want you to miss your hill well if we go out the other way we come out we come into the environmental park on the wrong side of the parking lot and there's not a good way to walk to Jules without in particularly going out of your way so I don't know not quite our normal walk 55 minutes and 2.28 miles we usually are at like a little over an hour and 2.6 there's my bestie I did remember to grab the Lego candy corn guy for her it's in a uh, very sophisticated wrapping uh, arrangement. I threw it in a soft tissue box. <laughs> hey, girly. Hi. I hear you're not feeling too well. No, not the best. I made um, <gasps> a Halloween candy corn guy for you. <laughs> oh, oh, I knocked the leg Oh, that's oh, okay. You know how to put him back on the yes, base. Yes, I do. Oh, uh, thank you. I got some stuff for you, too, but I left it at the door. I'm so sorry. It's okay. Honor. Uh -huh, let me see. I yes. shall always be with you and it's a kitty. Yeah, you can pick up the head. Go ahead. I pick, pick him, up. him like lift as in lift, lift him it, up. lift uh -huh. him up. Oh my god. That is so cool. <laughs> so lighthouses and it has the 32 cent stamps. And an extra nice mat with the etching around the edges. I like it. I like I'm not gonna pay thirty dollars for it, but I like it. <laughs> You can't have it, it's mine, it's all mine. My life is a hoot. That's us, beware, we're here, we're shopping. Well, there's lots of cool stuff in the vintage area, but I don't think I see anything we can't live without today. Wow, Diana Ross, all time greatest hits. Jack and the Beanstalk and other stories. The Nutcracker. One of these days we're gonna find the Munster album. We are, that's what we're really looking for. He's pretty cute. We're trying to decide what it is. I thought maybe sloth, but it doesn't quite look like a sloth. For your next princess party. Off with her head. <laughs> Apparently I missed this color last week. I'll take it. So what does the fox say? Come on, you hear the song in your head. Start singing it now. I'll get in trouble if I sing it, but you can sing it. Weekend forecast, chance of naps, too bad it's not a guy shirt. Now, who found you all the best stuff today? You did. Yeah, Mandalorian Disney mug. Yay! Well, we're ready for it. 
and they're about ready to put it out but they just didn't quite get that far today well it was yeah. another great day the only way it could have been any greater is if they'd had more halloween stuff but we got some uh, uh, we each got a piece of jewelry we were happy about and we got uh some ha fall harvest stuff and we had some good finds today we were not findless so we won't gripe but right. yeah well, i told jeff if he'd make sure he'd have the halloween stuff out by but tomorrow we'd be back to spend some more money <laughs> and, we, and we weren't kidding so i may have to get Don to drive me by in the morning and see what's what's happening what's happening or drive back by this afternoon to see what's happening they are uh, harvesting the tobacco out of the fields they don't call it golden leaf for nothing i am uh driving ruby around yes yes thank you ruby <laughs> i'm driving ruby around trying to calibrate the cameras the um navigate on autopilots at 99 percent and fsds at 80. i've really only gone about oh i don't know four extra miles than the drive to guardian angel just a big loop little circle around the house here i might make the loop one more time and then we're gonna call it until tomorrow morning's drive downtown so ruby beeped and put up a green camera calibration complete message that was on the 99 percent the navigate on autopilot you can see it's gone now the full self-driving beta still is not happy um, i haven't seen any error messages since the software went on but again i haven't driven very much although this is the second drive today and ruby did sit out in the sun which has often often seemingly triggered it I don't know how much more I would have to drive to get the FSD to finish. Um, you know, if I knew if it was one more loop around, I'd make another loop, right? But I could be driving here for an hour and it not complete. Who knows? It's not changed in the last little bit. So I'm going to go park and I will be should really definitely be driving enough tomorrow to finish it up. And if Don wants to go for a ride after he gets off work or something, we could always consider that. Although tonight is, uh, I don't see Johnny going to Taekwondo. But if he tells me he's feeling fantastic, I'll take him up there. Yeah, here's the field. I passed before, was a little late getting the camera up. We're fixing to go past the spot where the guys are collecting the leaves. In this case, since they're not topping or just pulling the bottom leaves, they are out there with the machine taking the stalks down and taking the leaves off. Earlier in the year, it's more of a manual process. It really is 35 on this road. I thought I might help calibrate FSD if I um, ran autopilot for a little bit. And I knew that that railroad crossing is very smooth in comparison to some at 35 that's totally a safe speed so I didn't feel the need to break or reduce the uh, autopilot speed I'm not seeing the FSD beta calibration move up off of 80% though and I don't have very far before the turn into the neighborhood should I go around one more time just to give her a chance to uh finish all right well it's less than 10 minutes to go around and i suppose i'm feeling up to sitting here in the air conditioning doing that i am pretty wore out at this point thought i might ask don or johnny one whoever's got time and is feeling up to it to uh walk up to the attic with me and get the anna lee dolls out so i can put them in the curio cabinet that's not going to take a lot of energy All right, I'll be back in a minute with another progress report. At the stop sign, I selected navigate on autopilot and accepted the terms. I didn't know if that's helpful in completing the FSD calibration or not. And then I navigated the home, so it's taking me the loop that I've already, this is my third time on the loop. I guess it's about a five mile loop, five and a half miles, something like that. I think it's 45 the whole way around. I don't think there's any 55. I don't know if that matters. You know, I don't. they don't really tell you what you have to do to calibrate the cameras the whole way. Just do some driving and the car will figure it out, which is great. 
Although in this case, if I knew what to do, I would go, do I need 55? Do I, I don't have any um, highway roads that are convenient. That'll have to wait till tomorrow. But going out of town in the morning there for a little bit, it's 55 and it's, uh, you know, a two lane divided highway. So that has a good potential for finishing it. Wow, I haven't driven autopilot in this car for a long time. Well, I was driving a southeasterly loop and now I'm driving a uh, southwesterly loop. Figured I'd go over on the Judd Parkway, the new part of it, and um, turn left up here at the light where it's a two lane divided highway for a bit and see what see if that would help although <clears throat> it still hasn't come off of 80% I wonder if I have to get a hundred miles again if it's you know one of those pesky FSD qualifications I mean yes by all means make sure the car is driving properly before you engage FSD it's uh <clears throat> requires careful monitoring when everything's working normally let alone if something is off but obviously Ruby can see well I knew she could see before it wasn't I don't know anyway it's too early to call it, it was a software bug but we'll see I'm gonna go down to 55 and then probably just turn around and come back or I might come down Main Street and catch some more Pokemon I uh, <clears throat> surmise that the guys could live without me for another 15 minutes. <laughs> I mean, there's no reason why this nicely marked road shouldn't uh, calibrate the cameras. <clears throat> well, I'm almost back to the house that's still holding at 80%. Nothing for sure says, though, that I'm going to see it go up percentage points before it declares itself complete or an error. Um, you know how those um, completion bars are. Anyway, if it is something like I've got to drive some mileage, I'll definitely get that tomorrow um, when we head downtown Raleigh and, and out again. But I tried today. I went a little bit extra here, an extra 10, 15 minute loop. Another six to eight miles something like that and it's just um it's just not quite enough for today he asked don if he had 10 minutes to come sit on the bench with me i could use a little outside thank she's you for feeling good she's all sicky well i walked my normal walk i did my normal shopping i haven't sat still to rest even a minute so yeah i'm not feeling so great she's got the fever she's hot she can be stopped. Poor thing. <laughs> She's not doing well at all, y'all. She's a sicky little thing. Yeah, I paid for overdoing it this morning and being stubborn. I don't like being sick, but I already told Don that well, Johnny's feeling well enough to go to school tomorrow, and he need, he went and plugged Jules in because I don't see me at five getting up at 5.30 and driving anywhere tomorrow morning. I just But that's okay. I can. <laughs> yeah, don't you get sick. And he cooked a big pork roast That's for right. dinner. Did an excellent job yeah. cooking. And I just had um, an iced coffee because my, my temperature got up to 99.5. Yeah, she's so running the fever. I wanted to try to bring it down a little bit. Yeah. Poor so. thing. Y'all be thinking of her. She yeah, needs... well, you know, if it would just be over in a day or two, I'm good. But I have a bad history of no, she, uh... things going on for a couple of weeks and... Yeah. really settling in like yeah, it can does. that cannot happen this That's time fine. it just you're cannot. gonna be fine you're gonna be kicking butt tomorrow okay. you wait and see if you say so that's right listen to mr don okay mr don's always right that's there you go then repeat that one more time <laughs> just for the video come on it's now. because i'm sick it's <laughs> oh she's delusional is what she's trying right. out of her mind that's right <laughs> 